We're joined by our segment sponsor, uh, the executive matchmakers at Kelleher and Associates, Amber Kelleher Andrews. Hi, Amber. Good morning. Okay, well, they brought up a lot of good things here. They started with the blame game. Yes, it is. Because it does seem like, my God, if you've been on enough dates, these girls are out and give the guy two out dating, it must be them, the rest of them. Right. What's yeah. wrong with all of those people? Well, it's, you know, it's, it's difficult for me to comment specifically on these uh, individuals that you've chosen because they're not our clients and I haven't had a right. chance to meet them, but they're clearly frustrated and rightfully so. It is difficult when you're single and you want to be in a relationship. So I think it's important that they are taking the time to stop and reflect and say, what am I doing wrong? And as a matchmaker, we have the unique ability to know both parties. And something that these four individuals don't have is that feedback. Yeah. They're going out and they're saying, why, why am I so successful in work, but I can't get a second date? So when you work with a matchmaking firm like us, you're able to say, I really enjoyed my last three dates, but for some reason he's not calling. Am I doing anything <coughs> wrong? What am I doing? And I can go back and I can look at the feedback and I can say, well, you're not making eye contact. Right. And she'll say, well, that's because he was so cute and I was a little bit shy. And then I can say, you acted, you know, somebody mentioned that you acted like maybe you were bored or you talked about your work the whole time. Right. And suddenly they go, oh my you gosh, you're right. You're doing. I'm nervous. All I do is talk and I, I only have work to talk about because that's what I do all day. You know what? Maybe the mistake people make is, um, uh, they pick their dates. I'm just, I'm not saying a matchmaking service, but maybe anybody else should pick your date. I saw a new MTV's doing a new thing where they have the parents who hate the boyfriend or girlfriend. Right. Pick the perspective to try to get their exactly. daughter with somebody else. Exactly. Well, we, we'll, we'll do a lot of reflecting. We'll, we'll choose somebody that will reflect issues that we have. And until we do a lot of work on ourselves, we're not going to truly get the right partner. And people that we work with that are really successful, they spend so much time on their work and suddenly they want a relationship and they want it right now. So they're going to go out with their dysfunction patterns and they're going to keep choosing somebody that's going to reflect the issues back. Yeah. So as a matchmaker, I can say, you know what, I hear you and I understand what you're looking for. However, I really see that you're going to be better paired with this individual and then I can get feedback from both parties and we can assist them. Okay, so uh, so as somebody who's not using your service but just out there alone trying to do what these girls and guys are doing, could they should they make a list or maybe have their friends make a list of things that maybe they think they should be looking it's, it's for? It's tough. Having a friend introduce you is nice, but that friend might l really like this person and really like that person and therefore think that they're going to be a good match. You really need to have uh, you need to have an expert uh, assist you. A psychologist, for example, <laughs> get your shrink. But even the psychologist can't go on both dates, so you're just right. going to be dealing with that one party. As a matchmaker, we're the fly on the wall. We get to talk to both parties, so you don't just go back to your psychologist and go, "What am I doing wrong?" And the psychologist can help you, but they really don't know what the individual is saying about you on your date. We have the ability to go in and say, "This is what you're doing. I heard from the other individual, and you can do both parties." So now, I if think only you could get more guys to sign up. What's with the guy? How come we have to drag them? kicking and screaming. I, yeah, well, when the men come to us, they get involved so quickly in a relationship that they disappear. They're gone. And, and they the keep pool. it very secretive where they met this fabulous woman, whereas when women join with Kelleher, they tell everybody and all their friends. So right. men seem to love us, but if, the, if more of them knew about us, I think it would be a ha everybody would be very happy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thanks a lot, Amber. Okay. All right, and that's Amber from, Amber Ke uh, from Kelleher and Associates this morning. Okay.